I have built computers every time of the year. I have set out and picked the parts out for them. I have chosen each individual system. And to be honest with you, I'm going to give today's video my 100% honest, you know, I don't know if it's an opinion or not, but it's the best time I've been able to get the cheapest prices, you know, all year. And, you know, surprisingly, it's not Cyber Monday, Black Friday, any of those things. Because to be honest with you, you know, I'm not just considering, yes, prices are a big factor, but I'm just considering the fact that, you know, you're not going to have something that comes out a month later that's going to be really popular, it's going to be better. And basically, in a time of year that you have the ability to sit down and, of course, look at the parts and know that these parts are what's out there for the, you know, majority of the year. And, you know, yes, Black Friday and Cyber Monday are really good deals, but keep in mind that's basically all the, you know, companies trying to clear out all their inventory and stock for the new stuff that's coming the next year. So my question to ask you today is, this video is going to tell and explain why I think that the June to April, May area is the best time to build. But the question I want to ask is, what are you really looking for? Are you looking for to get a slightly better deal by maybe 100 to 50 bucks? Or are you willing to have something that lasts and knowing that you will have a good deal with what you know you have on the table and what will be on the table for the next year? So I'm going to explain both situations and give you guys, you know, if you really need that extra buck or if you really want to have the ability to have all everything on the table to make your best decision for your computer build. So let's talk off or let's start off, I guess, with my personal experiences, because I feel like, you know, it's hard to, you know, look at somebody, and tell you, hey, this is the best time to, you know, without knowing my past credibility. So first off, I want to talk about this system back here. Last June, I built the system, and to be honest with you, it was a great time to do so. Now, I've upgraded the motherboard um, around the Christmas time, actually, which I got for a good deal, and, you know, probably should have waited for the X470 chipset, which, you know, not really necessarily following my own advice. But my point being is, you know, looking at the standpoint of what was the best time, you know, as I said, it was not the best deal to, you know, yes, it was pretty cheap motherboard, not relatively, and it was a good deal at the time, but had I waited a little bit longer, I would have gotten something much better. So back in June, this was when Ryzen came out. It was the thing. Let's be honest, I thought Ryzen was the best thing because at the time, I was still streaming uh, video games and it was awesome for streaming. My 1800X completely blew it out of the water and it was awesome. But, you know, that was at a time when we had just seen Ryzen and yes, we had the 1080 Ti just came out and we really didn't see what, you know, AMD was putting on the table until midsummer, which was around, you know, well, actually, I think it ended up being September. But everybody kept telling me to wait, wait, wait before I built my computer. And this was in June, and it didn't come out till September, I believe. It might have been August. I think it might have been August. Sorry, dates are not my thing. But, you know, waiting, yes, in some situations is better, but some is not. And... At the time of June, it was the best time to build a computer. Why? Because we had the ability to see everything that was pretty much on the table. Yes, there was another graphics card coming out, but in the past, we've had all the new releases either at the beginning of the year or at the very late end of the year. So, that basically gives you, if you're sitting in June, April, around there, you have the ability to see everything that's on the table and what's going to be on the table for a good bit. So you can make a really good judgment on what parts you want to put in your system rather than waiting, yes, to get a good deal on Cyber Monday and Black Friday, but you have the chance of, of course, something new coming out really soon afterwards, which should have waited, of course. But this is why I want to make this. Cheaper prices, RAM prices for me. Well, yes, last June was really nice. But for me, at the beginning of this year, around April, I actually went out and bought some more RAM. Why? Because it dropped $50 in price just because of some random sales in the middle of this time. Now, I'm not saying that's for everybody, but just keep in mind that companies right around that time have a big gap. And they need to, you know, make a little extra money because, well, you're making a bunch of money at the end of the year, you know, Cyber Monday, and, you know, you're making a bunch of money at the beginning of the year from the products that might be coming out. But there's a little bit of a gap. Companies like to make that money, and there's a lot of sales that go on around that time. Yes, I'm not saying there's no sales any time of the year, but I'm just saying there's a good... It's not like you're sitting in the middle of June and there's nothing, no deals. You're just paying full price for stuff. There are a lot of deals around that time that still allow you to build a computer 
you know, yes, even sometimes equivalent to what you would get at Cyber Monday or something like that. And so there's just a lot of ability, especially right now, and especially at the time of this video, which is around June, I would recommend anybody that's building their computer to build it now, because you really, especially with the Ryzen 2, and I don't know how late or how far in the future you guys are watching this video, but for Ryzen 2 just came out, and now that's pretty much on the table. We won't see an Intel counterpart till the end, maybe in the beginning of 2019, um, or end of this year, beginning of 2019. And for as for what NVIDIA is going to release, we don't really expect, at least I don't personally think, that we're going to see anything from NVIDIA till the end of this year. Why? Well, I've already made a couple of videos on that, but you know, you'll have to see. If you're watching this video in the future, it comes out next month, you know, oh well, I tried. But I really, you know, yes, graphics cards are one of those things that like to come out. And that's why I say June, you know, the 1080 Ti came out last June, which was something, you know, I had a, somebody at the time was really trying to convince me to get it. And I'm glad I did, because to be honest with you, it turned out to be a really good card. But, you know, you really do have to see it. I mean, June is probably the latest to build a computer, because, you know, that's really the gap. When the, the beginning, companies like to produce a bunch of products at the beginning, and they like to produce a bunch of products or release a bunch of products at the end. There's that gap in between. If you get the start of that gap, you have really good deals. And of course, you have the ability to see what's on the table, at least for the beginning part of the year. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, of course, give the video a thumbs up. Try out my channel for other cool tech related things. And of course, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.